Adobe Dimension is a 3D based product design application by Adobe and it can be used to uh, make various mockups of 3D design which can be integrated directly with Photoshop. Even if you are completely new to 3D, you can easily get started with Adobe Dimension which comes bundled with Adobe Creative Cloud. So over here you can see that this is what you get when you start Adobe Dimension. So here on the bottom you can find the recent documents that you work with and you can view it in grid view or list view as you want it. And over here on the left side you have option to create a new file or to open an existing document. So let us just create a new file right over here and let us tour around with the interface of Adobe Dimension. So let me just create a click on create new and over here you can see that this is similar to other Adobe products. On the left side you can find all the tools, the options and on the right hand side you see the slider and everything else that we can work around with. So once you open up a new document in Dimension, you're greeted on with a canvas. So once you click on the canvas, you can see right over here that by default is uh, 1024 by 768 pixels. So what you can do is you can click on this and then resize it just by dragging it and then that would resize the entire canvas just like this. So you can change the work area from right over there. Or you can also come over here onto the right hand side and type in the dimensions you wish to work with. So for example, I want to work with, let's say for example, just by 600 and 600 pixels. And there you go, you can change that out right over here. You can also change the unit into inches and then change that out just like that and change the resolution. For example, per inch, if you want 72 pixels, then you can change it out right here. And you can also change the scene units to centimeters, to millimeters to around let's say meters and that would change out the grid area right over here just like that. So you can just move around and change out the grid colors from over here as well according to what you want. So let's say you want green, you get a bit of a greenish layer right over there just like that. So now this is how you control out the layout. On the left side you can see that there are all the tools like if you were to press the plus button right over here there's assets that you can import and so forth which are going to see in further lessons. Over here there's the selection tool that you can work with, there's magic wand tool as well, the sampler tool, there's the orbit tool right around here to orbit around and to work with it, there's the move tool like pen tool over here as well, there's the dolly tool, there's like the zoom tool and the hand tool right here to navigate around the 3D space. Over here, just on the right hand side, you can see that there's the basic shapes. You can choose models, you can choose materials, lights, and even images like by filtering around. So if you want to import out a model, as simple as clicking and drag it, it, uh, dragging it out over here onto the 3D space. So once you drag it in, you can see that it is right over here. So to navigate around, uh, what you can do is you can use your scroll mouse button to zoom in and zoom out. You can click on the scroll mouse button to pan it around just like this and you can right click uh, on it at, uh, right click on it and hold to move around this in 3D space as you can see. So that's how you can move around and navigate around. Over here on the top side, you can also see that there's two views right here. One is the design view where you work on and other is the render view. So once you're ready to render out everything, uh, once you design it, then you come to this view and export it as an image into a Photoshop file or a PNG file depending on what you want. So the rendering can also be done via cloud or in your computer itself right over here. So there's cloud rend rendering and local rendering right over here, two options. So let's go get back to design over here and let's see what other options you have. So what you simply do as a workflow is that you can search for assets, bring in the asset, go below, and then you search for different things. So you work around with the materials that you want to work with, drag and drop the materials over here, and the material would be applied just like that. You choose the lighting of your choice and the background image of your choice, and that's how you have a product design ready, just like that. So you can see that it's uh, simple just like this. You can choose like basically the images that are over here. You place it around and then you render it around. So you have this product just like this over here. 
So besides this, what you can also do is you can zoom in and out from the section right here. So you can zoom in into 100%, into 300%, or you can also fill the canvas just like that. So zooming in option is right over here. On the right hand side over here, you see the camera option where you can click on it to focus on the frame right over here. You can redo as well to go on back to the previous frame or you can also save favorites. So you can go to the camera, you can go over here on the camera bookmark and add a camera bookmark right over here, like view three, as you can see. So you can go over here uh, and even if you zoom in, you can go on to the bookmark to go back to the same view. Over here on the right side, you can see that there's the so high render preview. So as you work on and you want to see a high quality preview, you can actually click on it and you can see that there's a quality preview going on. You can still continue working and it'll render that out uh, in the high quality render preview. This does take your GPU and your CPU power to actually process it out. And the rendering is quite fast as you can see right here. But usually I like to keep this off. And over here on the right side, there are scenes. So this is where you access your layers, like your coffee cup, your cup, lid, and everything else, which you're going to see in further lessons. And over here on the bottom, there are the properties section of each of the tools that you choose. So let's say, for example, if I were to choose uh, something like over here, like this cup, you can see that there's the properties for that. There's the action as well. You can go over here onto the environmental light and you get the properties for that particular action. You choose the resolution and you get properties for that particular uh, tool and so forth. So you get all of these settings right over here. And this is it. And on the top right hand side, you got the sharing features, uh, features right over here. You can share it out, collect feedbacks and even uh, learning options are over here. On the top hand side, of course, there are the file menu where you can access even further more ways to uh, uh, use the software, even the preferences, everything right over here. So we are going to dive in into how to use all of these to uh, composite a 3D model onto a picture and take it out into Photoshop as well. So that is how, how the interface of Adobe Dimension is designed for very easy workflow of 3D application, 3D uh, objects. Uh, so hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.